Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the 8th track, or basically the 8th track off of the wedding album. There's two of them with, uh, okay, so let me explain. So in my files, there's uh, about 13 songs, 12 songs. Two of them have the 8 number, like, what's it called? Like, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, and then 9. Because before this is actually a hidden track, it's called The Ballad of St. John. That's literally Bonnie Adam from Everyday Life, so I'm just not going to really review it, because I think, I mean... It's just this, hold on. It's just this. And that's just that. So then, that's the, actually the hidden track of Arabesque, which was the eighth track as well from the wedding album. Oh, which is the eighth track off the fan made wedding album that I'm just trying to put together. Um. So yeah, Arabesque was from the wedding album sessions. First of all, the whole olive tree part, the whole olive tree part, it's like three, the first three minutes of Arabesque. That was originally on the wedding album, but I just remember Chris Martin saying in some sort of video that he heard that arabesque riff all the way back in like 2010 so or 2008. So I'm just going to put the whole Everyday Life demo into the wedding album because I feel like this was also the point for the wedding album as well. So let's just, let's just do it. I'm going to have to mute the audio because copyright issues, obviously. <laughs> How we usually do these reviews is I react to song, give my thoughts, and rate it. So that's, yeah, let's just start off now. Okay, so, like, the first whole... How long is this? Okay, the first, like, 55 seconds of it, it just sounds like, um... It sounds like it's flowing into the actual arabesque track. No, I, 55 seconds in, it just shifts into this whole whole different song. So, <laughs> that's just what's funny about it a little bit. I just don't know, but let's just keep going. I love this whole first verse right here. Once it just gets out of the whole 55 seconds thing, that's when it just goes into this whole different song. It has some piano in it, some acoustic guitar, like acoustic, like two acoustic guitars at least in the background. It just sounds like it's very Mexican and Hispanic music influenced in this. So I, I like it because I love that type of music because that's where I'm from. Um, but the lyrics, I really cannot tell what they're trying to explain. I, it's just, it sounds pretty good so far. I just don't know what the lyrics are trying to say. So let's keep, keep on. Let's keep, bleh, let's keep going. Okay, so then there's that second verse right there. Um, it's basically saying how your goals are just right there in front of you. You just have to go take it as you. You just have to take the biggest long shot ever. Um, I think that's what it's trying to explain. I have no idea. But with this whole second verse, it really sounds sick. It has the orchestra in the background, like kind of an orchestra in the background with more piano elements. You have this. You have the strings in the background, which is really sick too. I, I love the whole sound so far. So, eww. I already love it. We're barely like two minutes in, so let's keep going.
Okay, so I think they got the lyric wrong for this one. It says, the last line is, well, nobody has to bleed. So apparently it's talking about this one person who is just terroristic. Or, wait, that's awful. It's talking, I think it's just, the first two lines are pray for me. Which I'm thinking it's talking about this one person who is just, like, on psychotic rampages <laughs> half the time. It just says, like... Like, there's also this one part where you're just, like, you're talking about looking at your enemy. And there's, you have half a mind to just go kill him. <laughs> but then, um, it's just, if you're just alone and you're just in peace, you don't have to make any, anybody bleed. That's what the whole verse is about, which is kind of creepy, but at the same time, I love it. So, I can't, now I really get what this song is trying to be about. The whole, yeah, but the whole sound behind it's still really good. The whole strings, or the whole guitar in the background is just really sick. It just, once again, this is more Hispanic influence of a song, which I love it. Let's keep going. Okay, so then there's that last, I think that's the fourth verse, I'm pretty sure. It's just basically, the first verse is just trying to yearn for freedom. For the se for some reason, the second line sends tamarind and coffee. The second verse says that. And then the last line is just basically, I don't know why, I don't know what this whole verse is about. It's very scattered on what's it, what it's trying to talk about. And then it just has a line, we gotta stick together. And then... Yeah, it just goes into this awesome vocalization with the piano in the background. The whole climax of the first part of the song. And then it just like, ah, arabesque. And then there's that. And now, once again, it goes back to the opening sound. And this sound flows into the actual arabesque, which we hear in everyday life. So that's pretty sick in my opinion, but we're still not done yet. There's still like a whole other song to go. So I can tell for sure that, that this was going to for sure be on the wedding album because the way those horns sound, it just it feels more like a jazz song with the second part of Arabesque. It just feels more like a jazz song for some reason. That's just my opinion. That's just what I think about it. It feels more like a jazz song, in my opinion, which I still love it so far. Once After that climax of, the, of Olive Tree, it ascends into Arabesque, which has that opening guitar riff, which we also hear from the Everyday Live version. And then it just goes on to the horns and all that. And now we're here for the first lyrics of the second part of the song. So let's keep going. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. My bad. It's because I'm so energetic right now. I don't know why. Okay, so then there's the, so then here's the second whole part of the song. And the first verse of this is basically the first verse of Arabesque, too. 
Um, or I should say the fifth verse of it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's basically saying how we're just family in some sort of way. It's I could be you. You could be me. We share we share the same blood. Um, it's just this time you're reborn and now you think of the world as your family. Like you can think of the same person as your family one at a time. Uh, that's what that's just what I think it is. Cause of the way Olive Tree ended, it's like we gotta stick together. And um, it's just really sick how. All of a sudden, your whole worldview is just trying to, is just tearing it down, but all of a sudden, now realizing your different perspective, from a different perspective, it's like, the whole world should be your family, too. It's just, I like, I, it's just a lot of deep thinking with this song. Uh, for me, that's just for me. I overanalyze a lot of stuff, for some reason. This might not make any sense to you, but for me, for some reason, it does. I'm an idiot, that's why. There's a song about that, too. <laughs> But at the same time, it's just, it's crazy how much the lyrics changed from Olive Tree to Arabesque. This is the, this is the same, it's the same song, it's just, I have no idea what the title was back in the wedding album days, so. I just call it, I'm just calling it Olive Tree and Arabesque, so. But it's nice how this first verse is just basically saying we're all family in some sense. And now we're going on to the last part, so let's. Okay, so then here's this. Okay, I think I, fi I finally figured it out what it's about. I think I'll explain it at the end. Uh, but it it has this one little lyric which I actually cannot comprehend for the life of me. I'm trying to figure it out, but I just can't. I'm not gonna try and figure it out right now because I'm still listening to it. But then it has the whole sample of Femi Kuti or Fela Kuti. I have no idea. Um, saying music is a weapon, weapon of the future. Music is a weapon. Music is a weapon of the future. I I like that whole thing. It just really gets into a deeper kind of tone with that and now I'm gonna love this whole part right here so let's keep going Oh my gosh, man. Okay, the reason why I'm like moving around so much, the whole guitar solo. Oh my gosh, and the way it ends is so abrupt too. Oh my goodness. Woo! That was good. That was so freaking awesome. I love it. I love it so much. I, I just wish they added the lion's same effing blood in that. That would have been so sick, man. That would have been so sick. So I think now I fully understand the whole extent of this song. It starts off with... The whole, with Olive Tree, it talks about this whole mindset of this one person just being just psychotic or, like, going on psychotic rampages. But then for Arabesque, it starts to find peace. But then slowly devolves, but once again, re, uh, rejuvenates itself. I don't, I don't know, but still. Because, in a sense, the way music is a weapon of the future, the way it's said, it's talking about how music unites us all. But once again, with this guitar solo, it just... So it just points a sign at this is still not okay or this is still not free yet they still they there's still a lot of bad stuff going on but i just don't know what the guitar solo is just trying to influence it's like the the ugh, the guitar solo sounds angry in a sense i just don't know i love the whole thing so far I, or the whole song is over right now but i just love the whole thing i just wish they finished it but at the same time, I kind of know why they they released the other version of Arabesque. It's because the whole jazz part of it is just basically saying how you can fit so many genres in one song. It's a way of saying music unites us all. So I'm going to give this whole thing a 5 out of 5. I love the whole thing of it. From start to finish, I loved it. Olive Tree, Arabesque, whatever you want to call it, I love the whole thing of it. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. This was longer than I thought. But damn, this was good. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.